The Lord appointed that a bishop be called, set apart, and ordained by the First Presidency of the Church. He made this statement twice, attesting to its importance. The approving authority under the Law of Common Consent is a High Council or General Conference. Predictably, the modern Church has changed the procedures and authorities given by the Lord in His revelations to Joseph Smith. Handbook 2, Administering the Church, details the process for calling, ordaining, and setting apart bishops. According to the handbook, a stake presidency makes a recommendation to the first presidency, which then approves or disapproves the name. However, the scriptures do not provide for a recommendation process for calling a new bishop nor do they direct that a stake presidency has a role in the calling of bishops. The first presidency is not to approve a recommendation for a bishop, but to call a bishop. Like any call, it must be done by prophecy and not by recommendation or interview. The handbook omits one very important detail in calling bishops. High priests can only become bishops if there are no descendants of Aaron to be found. The implication is that the church must first search for the descendants before ordaining any high priest to the office. The church does not include a search for the descendants of Aaron in its process for calling new bishops nor does it account for a claimant of legal descent from Aaron as the scriptures require. The Lord allowed for the possibility that a literal descendant of Aaron could be a bishop in the church. The literal descendant would have to authenticate his lineage where the First Presidency could verify it directly with the Lord through revelation. The handbook is silent on this matter. If the claim is ascertained to be valid and the claimant found worthy, then he is to be anointed and ordained by the First Presidency. In the case of a literal descendant, he is not set apart. His lineage was set apart for this ministry at the time of Moses. Again, the handbook does not account for the necessity of the First Presidency adjudicating the matter directly and personally, without the involvement of a recommendation process. The Lord commanded that a high priest be ordained and set apart as a bishop by a member of the First Presidency. The Church has changed this requirement. According to the handbook, the First Presidency no longer performs the ordinance, but assigns it out to a stake president, Area 70, or general authority. The handbook offers no scriptural or revelatory basis for this change. The approval authority under the Law of Common Consent has been changed as well. Instead of a High Council or General Conference directing the call by vote, ward members now sustain the action. 
As is the pattern, the handbook offers no scriptural or revelatory basis for this change. 